Hello friends, welcome back to the fifth part of this tutorial series. In the last video, we learned how to create the routes and we created three product routes and finished it. So in this part, we will be working on the orders route and we have a lot to cover. So let's begin. So the first route, uh, as you can see, I have uh, commented it here. It will be get all orders. And what I did, I simply renamed my users route into orders.js and, and imported the database object from the helper file. Okay, that's it. So let's create the first route. So router.get, the path will be the default path. Okay, request dot, uh, and response. <clears throat> then I'm not going to use any pagination or limit sizing here. So it will be simple. So database dot table name is. So here I will be chaining four tables, orders, order details, products, and users, as all of them are linked. And we need to use all of them to uh, prepare a proper response. OK, so we'll start with orders details here. I'll name, uh, name it as OD. Then join. I'll move to the next line. Join takes an array of uh, objects. So the first will be table uh, orders as O as O. Okay. On O dot ID equals to OD dot order underscore ID. So this name comes from my table here. Uh, if we go to order details, so it's order underscore ID. So this is the foreign key pointing to my orders orders table. Okay. The second table I need is my products as P on P dot ID equals to OD under OD dot product underscore ID. Third is my and the final one is my users table. So on uh, on I'm sorry on uh, u dot id uh, is equal to u dot user underscore id okay with that set we'll choose what all fields we require so first one is my order id second is my product dot title as name third will be product or description description then I also need pricing and let's say the username okay then I'll use get all to get all the orders it will be an array right and uh, <clears throat> I need to use a 10 block here. This will give me orders from the database. And if orders dot length is greater than zero, we got all the orders. I mean, more than one order here. So I'll send it response dot status code 200 dot JSON and orders. Else, I'm going to say message no orders found okay so with that said i'm going to use a catch block also in case if there are any errors so i should be notified in the console so that's it so our first route is created and my server is running it has a fresh let me go back to the uh, postman and if i hit send i get all the orders here okay but th these are in in random uh, order so I can also sort them, sort here. I'll use <clears throat> ID as one. Okay, this will be this ID that comes, this is coming from with fields uh, method. So let's see. Yeah, so it's starting with six. And if I put a minus here, a negative one here, this will be reversed. I'm a decreasing order. See? Okay, so it's up to you. So I'll keep it as one. 
the next route that will be fetching is get single order so router dot get again is the same thing I'll use an ID here uh, request response okay it's pretty much the same thing here copy of the thing the only change here will be the order ID I need to fetch it from the uh, parameter so let or const order ID uh, equals to request dot params dot ID okay so with that said I need to go down uh, remove the sorting because there will be only one uh, product okay and I'll, I'll still use get all because my, my order can have multiple products so if I use only get it will only return one or the first uh, product that it finds okay so I'll still use get all but I'll change the filter method here with o.id matching with my order ID okay so everything everything will remain same I'll uh, simply change the message here no orders found with order ID is order ID okay there we go go back to postman put one slash one uh, no, 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 one okay let's see uh, okay I think I don't have any order ID with order ID one do I no it starts with six or seven right here okay so it's fine let me then put 10 nope 91 okay there it is 103 there I have two two products 106 I have four products and if I say 100 I have one if I say 1000 I don't have any order so it's working fine right I thought it was not because uh, I did not have any uh, orders with order ID one I probably deleted it so the last one or the, ne the next one will be the most uh, extensive one that's the, the what do you call place a new order okay so this time we're gonna use the post method and the endpoint will be slash slash new Okay, and we want to use chaining here okay chaining of 10 blocks and uh, all those stuff so in in here in the post uh, request you always send a body okay so I need to fetch the data from the body in the body I will be sending I have a sample uh, uh, request here so I'll be sending the user ID and uh, and the products uh, uh, key or attribute or whatever you want to call it that will be uh, that will contain an array of uh, product IDs and the in cart values. This is the quantity that you ordered. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll create a variable to destructure that information and or fetch it from the requested body parameter. So here I'll get user ID and the products. Okay, let's simple, simply console lock it for the first time. Okay, products and see if we get anything or not. So I have the body here. Let me send it and go back to console. So here, here is my order, uh, user ID and the products. Okay, the reason why I'm sending the user ID is because my orders table here is only looking for a user ID, nothing else. Okay, my order details table. Uh, stores the information of the products and the quantity ordered okay so it's working fine I can simply remove it so the first thing I will do I'll do a check whether the user ID is not equal to null and user ID is greater than zero and it's a number okay so is 
if this func function is nan or is not a number we'll check whether this uh, given parameter is not a number or not if it's not a number we'll say if it's if it is not a number then it'll give you give you true and if it's a number it'll give you false so i want this to be true or is not a, a negative of this function of this okay output i mean so after this is checked i get an user id so then i'll call the function and first of all i'll work with the order table and i'll insert a new doc here or a new entry that will be the user underscore id user id so i need to use a then statement this will give me new order id order id which i can use further down the line let me quickly put a catch block here before i forget okay so what's what's next i need to check if the new order id that i received is greater than zero because it has to be a positive value then for each product that i receive in the array for each i use the for each block i get i get a single product i'll use the async function to async keyword to quickly uh, use the await keyword and get the information from the database without using the then uh, need without the need of the then, then block so i'll create a variable let's say data and use a weight so this will fetch the information from the uh, given table and put it in the data variable okay so i'll filter filter what i'll filter the id with p.id and this is the individual product and i only need the quantity from here because that's the uh, column that I will update. I also create a variable let in cart equals to p dot in cart. So this is coming from my request body in cart here. Okay. All right. Then what I will do, I will deduct the number of pieces ordered from the quantity column in column in database okay now to do that i'll first check if the data that i got, got here it has a quantity attribute quantity is greater than zero only if it's positive else what i'll do i'll put data dot quantity equals to zero simple i'll say data dot quantity equals to data dot quantity minus p dot in cut or simply in cut okay and after doing that if my data dot quantity goes uh, less than zero i'll simply repeat this okay And if my data dot quantity is uh, less than zero, I don't want to proceed further. I want to return nothing else. Okay. okay I'll use it later. Let me remove it for the moment. Okay. So once that is processed, I will insert order details with respect to the newly generated order ID. Okay, so I'll use database dot table orders underscore detail details, I guess. Okay, so again, insert. Here I have three columns that I need to update. First is order ID, that will be newly new order ID. Okay my product id that will be my individual product id that i that i'm working on right now and the quantity ordered is is uh, in cart once that is done i'll get some id which i'm not interested in okay but i want to use a then block here 
and also catch block should be attached so you should know where exactly it failed here once it is done I'll go to my products table okay uh, and filter my current table with uh, the current product ID and update it update the quantity with data dot quantity okay that's the updated information not not the one which you got which you get here so after you update the quantity you're putting it in the database and again you need to use the 10 block success num something will be displayed I'm not concerned about it okay you can keep it empty like that and catch of course console.log error so with that with that done I think we are almost finished here so this is the if if the order ID is greater than zero else we'll say response.json message new order failed while adding order details also the success let's put a success attribute here and set to false okay and if that is done right uh, if that is done what I will do I'll send a response with a message that says order successfully placed with order ID uh, new order ID okay and I'll give the success flag as true I'll send the order ID as new order ID also the products as products okay this is the if statement if that is not true what I want I want to send a message new order failed simple and success false okay so with that we we have finished the biggest or longest a uh, route here the last route is a fake payment gateway I'm sorry gateway call this is pretty simple uh, router dot router dot post uh, let's say it's a payment endpoint and we <coughs> We'll simply set a timeout method here that will execute after three three seconds. Oops. And here I want to set the status and let's say JSON true. So true. So our payment is successful. Okay, so I'll, we'll use this success variable or attribute in the front end to create a uh, new order afterwards okay so with that we are done with the uh, order route here we can test we have already tested uh, the orders page I'm sorry here the orders page I have checked the individual order also let's let's check the <coughs> uh, new order thing here and as you can see that I'm purchasing uh, the order ID one or product ID one with two uh, in cart right so order ID or product ID one has got 94 items in, in stock okay so as soon as I hit send 
so my order has been placed successfully with order ID 107 and if I refresh you should see a reduction in the quantity here see it got reduced by two okay and if you check the orders okay sorted 107 was placed by user ID 2 user ID 2 and the details okay all the details so you have one two three four items okay so one two three four perfect so with this uh, I would like to finish the tutorial here I mean this video here at least and from the next video we will be working on the front end and we'll see how we can hook up angular with node.js and mysql to fetch the data and display it there okay it'll be real fun so please stay tuned with me and do not forget to like subscribe my channel and put your thoughts and feedback in the comment i'll see you in the next video till then take care and have a wonderful day ahead bye bye